It's Brandon from BrandonRFoster.com here to talk about the three myths of confidence today. Now, confidence is one of my favorite things to talk about as a mindset expert and confidence coach because understanding and believing in yourself is one of the key components of success in any business, in any industry, in any aspect of your life. And today I wanna to talk about the three myths of confidence that are as a myth are lies, and I wanna explain why these myths are very self-destructive to yourself, especially when you go to want to achieve more and do more in your life. So the first myth that I hear all the time is that you either are a confident person or you are a non-confident person. And the truth is, is that confidence, like any aspect of your life, has different levels. Think about the NBA, for example, right? You start off and you don't start out on the NBA level, right? You start off learning how to play basketball as a kid. You play in middle school, you play in high school. Then maybe if you're really amazing, you go straight to the NBA or maybe you go to college first and then you go to the NBA, but it's all playing basketball. One of the biggest misconceptions that I see, especially in terms of CEOs, corporate executives and other high level people is that they seem to think that because of their current level that they for sure have nothing but confidence. And the truth is most of the CEOs and executives that I meet because I coach them all the time is they actually have conditional and circumstantial confidence, which means they have confidence in one area of their life, but not in other areas of their life, or they have confidence if certain expectations are actually met. So what I want you all to understand is that you are confident in something in your life, and this should give you a lot of joy and excitement and encouragement, because I want you guys to ask yourself right now, what is something that I know I'm capable and able to do in my life that I am already good at? because that means you have a certain level of confidence already, even if you don't think you're an actually confident person. So the first myth is either have confidence or you don't. And the truth is, is that confidence comes in layers like anything else. And the good news is, is that you can learn how to build your self-confidence, just like a building blocks and getting better at anything in life. The second thing is that people think that confidence comes before action. This is actually a really, really, really big myth. Confidence comes after you take action. So confidence is knowing inner capabilities and abilities. So until you actually set out and try to do something, you don't actually start to build self-confidence. In fact, one of the biggest reasons why people or remain unconfident is because they're not willing to take action. And the reason why most people don't take action is because they're afraid or they're worried about the potential outcome. But the truth is, it is in the taking of the action that actually begins to build your self-confidence. Now, the third myth that is rampant in society today, and I know uh, that this might be hard for some of you all to hear, it was hard for me to hear too when somebody told me this. I was like, no, I don't wanna think this way, but it's true. Uh, and that is that you need other people to believe in you or to encourage you to achieve your goals, dreams, aspirations. Hey, I get it. I am a mindset expert. I am a coach. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching clients all the time. Uh, and there is something to say about having someone who's in your corner, who's in your cheerleader, who's encouraging you. But at the end of the day, the truth is that the only person that you need to have confidence in you is yourself. The only person that needs to be able to encourage yourself is you and the reality is is because you are the only person in your life that can actually take the inspired action to make your goals dreams a reality all right now god universe loves and adores you so of course god is going to send you some angels some encouragers people to support you and cheer you on but there also are going to be people who don't understand your dreams, don't understand your goals, don't understand your aspirations. They don't know what's inside your heart. And I don't want you to be disappointed or hurt about that. Most of the time, our friends and family don't believe in our goals, dreams, aspirations simply because or don't cheer us on or they question them because they're afraid we might fail and they don't want to see us hurt. All right. So those are the three myths about confidence. Now, if you are someone who 
man, you know you could do more in your life or in your business or in your relationships. You know you can feel it. Um, you get frustrated with yourself. Maybe it's just the lack of self-confidence is that one key that is holding you back. I have an incredible eight week course called Confident AF and is exactly what it sounds. It's gonna teach you how to be confident AF in your life. We're gonna talk about what makes confident people, how to create confidence in your life, how to see how you already have some confidence and how to create incredible positive momentum. If that sounds something interesting to you, then check out that link below. I love you so much. Have an absolutely incredible day. Thank you all so much for stopping by to watch some of my inspirational and encouraging mindset content. I encourage all of you to drop by our private free Facebook group, You Were Born to Slay, on Facebook, where we got the links down below in the comments where I have tons of written free content, more inspirational posts, more inspirational videos for you to enjoy throughout the week. And then of course, the worst feeling in the world, boo, is when you feel stuck. So if you wanna take my free uh, seven Reasons You Might Feel Stuck Masterclass, the link is down there in the comments, so check that out as well. And last but not least, we have some more inspirational mindset content for you to watch here and here. And they're both really good, boo, so it doesn't matter where you start, but I would love for you to watch some more inspirational content to help you discover how you can experience more joy, more love, more abundance in your life every single day. I love you so much. Have an awesome day, boo.